Welcome to the iHistorian channel, where we help provide you with teaching tips, helpful hints, and small shifts that will help you become a more effective teacher. Based on more than 30 years in the classroom, today we are going to take a look at Would You Rather questions for your students. Would you rather invest a little and receive a lot, or a lot and receive a little? While this question sounds rhetorical, for most, the answer is obvious. Everyone would prefer to receive large payouts with as little investment as possible. If we look at this scenario within the backdrop of education, the investment would look like lesson planning, instructions, and grading. Payouts would be student learning. So a larger question to consider is how you can get the most significant student learning outcomes with the least amount of teacher planning time. While there may be dozens of practical strategies, one with a substantial positive effect is asking would you rather questions. With very little planning, students do the majority of the work in the learning process. Anytime you get students to do more work than the teacher, the students take ownership of their learning and have a personal sense of accomplishment in the task. Would you rather activities are the simplest form of giving students choice in educational activities. Without going into a complete universal design for learning lessons, students can still feel a sense of choice and engagement in the activities around them. Besides providing choice, would you rather can also meet multiple teaching objectives and outcomes. Let's look at five primary educational results that can be achieved through would you rather. Let's explore. Would you rather activities encourage critical thinking by forcing students to consider two or more options. Their choice is based on their preferences and reasoning. Students should justify their answers. This activity is engaging and fun, allowing students to practice their critical thinking skills. These activities are completed by having students respond orally or in written form. Overall, would you rather activities are simple to implement yet effective in promoting critical thinking. Would you rather activities promote discussion and collaboration among students? Students are encouraged to share their choices with their peers. Activities can be extended by having students share their reasoning as well with their classmates. These activities naturally lead to students asking questions of each other to get a deeper understanding of the content and of each other. Students practice active listening to each other and effectively share their thoughts. These skills benefit students in the classroom and later in life. Would you rather activities foster creativity? When posed with these types of questions, students are forced to think outside the box and sometimes come up with unique scenarios to explain their answers. This can be achieved when students are asked to respond positively to both scenarios with reasoning. Student creativity and imagination can both be stretched through these activities. Would you rather activities can be a fun and engaging way to promote creativity and imagination among your students. Would you rather activities can also enhance language and vocabulary skills. Students use descriptive language when explaining the reasoning behind their choices. Students expand their vocabulary when they express their thoughts verbally. Would you rather activities can provide practice in using different verb tenses, comparatives, superlatives, and more. These activities can effectively develop language and vocabulary skills in an engaging and fun way. Would you rather activities help improve decision-making skills? Students are presented with two or more choices and must decide by thinking critically. When students weigh the pros and cons of each choice, decision-making skills are further improved. Students improve their decision-making skills the more opportunities that are given to them. Would you rather activities are easy to plan and implement while having large benefits in student learning, especially in critical thinking, decision skills, creativity, language, and decision-making. Teachers should strongly consider implementing these activities in their classrooms immediately. The benefits will significantly outweigh the investment of time. 
Would you rather work a little or a lot to achieve student learning? Try this one for yourself this week. When you realize the benefits for yourself, try it with your students. You may surprise yourself. Stay tuned for our other blogs where we'll explore other powerful teaching techniques, helpful hints, and small shifts to add to your instructional toolbox. Subscribe now to receive the latest updates and to take your teaching to the next level. I'm Russell with iHistorian. Have a historic day.